and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to be going over a lineup update. Let me get off that screen. I got to keep it. I'm going to do it through the binder, show you guys one by one in each position. I picked up quite a few new players. I'm going to go over how I plan to keep my team. Some new improves, like new improvements I plan to make to the most fair. I feel like this video kind of helps you guys a little bit too. Because it's not so much just my lineup. It's going over each position. How I plan to fill each position and why I plan to pick certain players. So it can help you guys with decisions on your team. And also you guys can give me some feedback on players I should upgrade at some point during the most fair promo. I'm going to go over the cards that I want to pick up from this promo. Positions I'm going to kind of leave open for the next promo or towards the end of the promo. Because I don't want certain cards. I'm going to go over everything that I kind of see as a way to build the team. But... I'm going to do it through the binder one by one. At the end of the video, I'll come back to the lineup, show you guys everything as a whole, how it fills out as a unit. But guys, before we get into that video, if you are new to the channel, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, boys, turn on that noti bell. We're getting close to 11k, we're like 400 subs away, boys. Smash the subscribe button. If you're new, come join the family. Comment down below, boys, throughout the video, what you think I should be upgrading at certain positions, who you guys recommend for me to pick up. And if you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up. All the loyal fans, all the OGs, all the new guys, smash the like button. Let's get this video to 200 likes. Now. Let's head on over to the binder. All right, so at quarterback, we still, have, we still have Vic and Lamar. I use Lamar as my main quarterback. Now, this is a position I'm leaving open right now. I do want to make an upgrade here. I'm kind of hoping they end up releasing a Pat Mahomes that can get like escape artist. That would be pretty cool. I don't know if they want them doing something like that, but that is kind of what I'm waiting for at this point. Um, I don't really know what I want to do because obviously I feel the passing woes of Lamar Jackson. Like, there are a lot of passes I can't make, and I've... I used to think as long as you threw a good looking pass, like a, a good open look, you can't get hurt too much by passing, but like the deep ball, really you feel it with Lamar and his throw power and deep ball. I didn't used to think it was, I, I, like, I know it's important, but I've really realized lately, like I really can't throw streaks. If I get a guy that looks like he burns him, first off, Lamar throws it so weak that by the time it gets there, the guy catches up. And even if he does burn him, he can't throw it far enough. So like, I really realized that yeah, I really hurt me. Like my, my field only stretches like 30 yards. Anything beyond 30 yards, like 20 yards, Lamar really is like a liability in. Also, when I throw like out uh, over the middle routes that like if I just lead the pass, I can easily get it for like a 20 yard gain. He'll overthrow it right out of bounds or he can't throw, he can't lead them properly. So I definitely need an upgrade passing wise. The speed's great, but all the speed really does is entice me to run and then I, I fumble. So I really don't know how I plan to go about this. I mean, I'm going to keep Lamar for the time being, but I definitely got to probably upgrade him at some point. Um, I don't really know. I had to wait for a new quarterback, though. Nothing out now really entices me. At halfback, we got Saquon and Marcus Allen. Saquon's the running back for the near future. His stats are insane with all the, with all the chems and stuff I put on him. He has great stats. The only thing with him is that I feel like I want like that next great speed back so, um, or a bruiser back. So I definitely want to keep him as a one. He's going to be in a dual backfield no matter what. So I'm not going to get rid of him. If I do end up getting any running back, it only the only one I'd really upgrade for are probably Barry Sanders or the Danian Tomlinson. That's kind of what I'm waiting for. And then I'll have him with like a Saquon Barkley as my dual backfield. That's kind of what I'm, that's kind of the plan so far for running back. And then I'll end up getting rid of Mark Sound at that point. At fullback, we still got Schlesinger, the GOAT. I want Okoye really bad, but he is free. So I don't really want to touch him just yet. But if Okoye comes down in price, I will be picking up probably Christian Okoye. He'd be really awesome on runs, on the kick return game, for blocks, and when they scum kick it. At wide receiver, we got Torrey Holt, Randy Moss, DeAndre Hopkins, Juju Smith-Schuster, and Tyreek Hill. What I'm trying to do here, I need a new wide receiver. I really don't have an, I don't have one dominant wide receiver. Torrey Holt's good, but he ain't dominant. Like, he's catching traffic. It's not dominant. He drops a lot of balls. What I really do need is, Torrey Holt's like a slot kind of guy. I need that main outside guy. Randy Moss is good and all, but he's not the full card, so you can really feel that. He's like, he's okay. Juju I just picked up for the time being just to have as a good catching guy. But what I plan to do is either get the full Randy Moss at some point or I'm going to wait for the next big dominant wide receiver. I don't know what card that would be. I, I essentially want Torrey Holt, a powered up Tyree kill that has a new card and some big outside wide receiver that can put some chems on and abilities on. But I don't know who that's going to be. Comment down below any receivers you recommend. Now, tight end, we got George Kittle. I do want his limited time card when he gets a redux. That's kind of the plan. I plan to keep Kittle there all year. Maybe scoop up a Gronk or a Tony Gonzalez later in the year when they come down in price if they do release a Gonzalez. That's kind of the plan for tight end. I don't really have any other plans for that. I love tackle. We got Anthony Munoz. That is a new pickup. We just picked up Munoz. Solid love tackle. I don't plan to change him anytime soon. He has like top tier stats for the time being. Uh, I will, if they ever drop a new left tackle, I'll pick him up. But for the time being, Munoz is cheap enough. Left guard, we got Bruce Matthews, a solid guy. Can pass and run block. If they drop a new left guard, I'll pick him up. But I don't really see any need to change that right now. I definitely need a center. I'm waiting to see if Mosphere drops a center. 
and I'll essentially go pick them up. I'm not entirely sure just yet. I'm hoping for like a Frederick card at some point because I have had his power up all year, hoping that he'll get a card. Um, if not, I'll probably just rock with Kelsey and wait for his Redux card to come out next series. At right guard, we're, we're solid right now. We're going to be solid here for a while. I got David DeCastro. Uh, he is all above 90 stats when you come up, so I have no reason to get rid of this card. I'm, he's nice. Solid right guard. One of the better pickups of the Mutt, the Mutt Heroes promo. At right tackle, we got Lane Johnson. Definitely needs to upgrade my right tackle at some point, but again, I'm waiting for a solid right tackle to drop that hits all the thresholds above 90, and he's a decent price, so... Until that happens, we're going to have to wait. Left end, I don't know. I like... Uh, Cameron Jordan's not bad. I'm kind of stuck with him because I got him for free. If they drop some dominant left end, I'll obviously make the change. But I have Demarcus Lawrence and Cameron Jordan. I put Lawrence at defensive tackle. And now Cameron Jordan's really not bad. He has a 96 play rec, 88 tackle, 91 power moves. If I, if I can just cam up his block shit a little bit, it would be a solid, solid left end. So I really don't have to change him for a while. I'll just wait to see if something better comes out. At right end, we got Aaron Donald. He's uh, I'm not going to rid of him all year. He's pretty solid. Above 90 play rec, above 90 uh, power move. I try to cam him up so I can get his block shut up a little bit. And he'll be a solid card for a while. No need to change him. Maybe during uh, the next series, I'll get his Redux card when the time comes. Next at defensive tackle, we got Michael Pierce. And I used, like I said, I used the Marcus Lawrence there. So it doesn't really matter to me. I'm more than fine with that for the time being. Because I used the Marcus Lawrence. So I don't really need to. Pierce is like a second guy, but in my scheme, in a 4 3. I mean, a 3 4, he doesn't come in. So no need for that. Next left outside linebacker, we got Vaughn Miller. I wanted Khalil Mack, but the thing is with Khalil Mack's card, he was so expensive and he wasn't that much better than Khalil. He was like the same as Vaughn Miller. So I rock with Vaughn Miller for now, though. I'm thinking of picking up a zone linebacker. I left outside linebacker next because I never rush my outside linebacker. I only rush the other side, which is Lawrence Taylor. So Vaughn Miller is always in zone and he gets cooked all the time. I want like a like a Leighton Van Der Esch or some kind of zone, more of a secondary kind of linebacker there. At middle linebacker, I got Ray Lewis, Shazier, and Devin Bush. I'm probably going to end up sticking with Ray Lewis. I'm a big Ray Lewis fan in real life, and he's kind of he's, he's a stud. So I'll probably end up powering him up at some point. And Shazier, obviously, I'm going to rock with him all year. So that's insane. He's free. He's only going to keep getting better, obviously. I right outside linebacker, we got Lawrence Taylor. I'm going to keep him there all year. I don't got to worry about this position. He's going to be rocking the right outside for a while. His stats are crazy good, and they're only going to get better when he gets his next big card, which will probably end up being Thanksgiving. I come over as a cornerback. Let's see what we're rocking with. At cornerback, we got Jalen Ramsey, Willie Brown, Stephon Gilmore, Deion Sanders, Byron Jones. Byron Jones kind of out of the rotation. With the new Patrick Peterson coming out from Team of the Week, I will be picking him up. I'll probably sell Willie Brown for that. Willie Brown's good and all, but Pat Pete's going to be more athletic, and he's going to hit the same thresholds. So I'll probably end up with Ramsey, Deion, and then Pat Pete as my three. And then I'll end up with Gilmore as my fourth guy and sell off Willie Brown. Although I love this Gilmore, but although his stats are good, his speed's too slow at this point, and it's starting to really show. He was still playing great for me. I really had no issues with him. There's probably time to make the switch. I love my Deion Sanders. He's a beast, too. But we might have to make the move at some point. Deion Sanders gets so many picks for me and so many good returns. At free safety, we got Brian Dawkins. This guy's a monster. I'm only pretty much the only way I upgrade this guy is if we get some new insane free safety or like a Sean Taylor. He has a zone threshold, high zone. He has a high hit power, a high play rec, a high pursuit, a high speed, a high excel, a high tackle, and good height. This card's a monster. I can't even argue with that card. I love having that card. And a strong safety, we're going to have Pat Tillman all year. So, no problem there. This card's a monster, too. 98 play rec, 90 zone, 97 tackle, 91 speed, 93 power. He is a monster. Probably the best card in the game, to be quite honest with you. And you guys like to see kicker for some reason. I got Graham Gano and Josh Lambeau. I use Graham Gano. I probably should pick up a new kicker, and I use Trey Way, a punter. Now, guys, let's head on over to the lineup screen real quick and show you guys the team in full. We are 90 overall. I don't know why my offense isn't better. I think it's my right tackle holding me back more than likely. Maybe my wide receivers. But as you guys can see, the team's looking pretty solid. Got some good chem draw. We have locked down 34 out of 30, which I probably should take some guys off and start building a pass rush one. We got zone run up there. We got Madden passing times two. We got go deep almost at 14 out of 15. We got shaker 12 out of 20. And apparently we got some Pittsburgh Steelers at chem going. Um, this is solid. Like I said, right tackle needs an upgrade. Center needs an upgrade. Quarterback needs an upgrade and wide receiver. And defensively, we're actually looking really solid. Nothing really here needs an upgrade. Besides, at some point, I do want to upgrade left outside linebacker and get a new cornerback. But other than that, the team's looking solid, guys. Special team, they got Deion Sanders returning kicks. Honestly, hasn't felt too special on kick return. Thought he'd feel a little bit better. But kick return just isn't exactly that. Like, you know, in the, in the past few years, it hasn't been as dominant as it once was. So, can't really complain. Uh, you, can't, you know, he can't juke too well. If he could get a nice cam for kick return, which he actually probably could. I'll look into that at a later date. That'd be pretty cool. And then on specialist, I got obviously Barkley at third down, running back, power back, Juju Smith at slot wide receiver, and 
quite honestly, that bottom stuff doesn't really matter to me. And I got, obviously, I got John Madden coach, guys. But that pretty much wraps up the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions or anything on your teams, hit me up on Twitter, comment them down below. And also, comment down below what you guys recommend I should be picking up. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell if you're new to the channel, obviously. If you're an OG, you're new, you're loyal, like the video. Let's get this video to 200 likes. Best way to show support is liking the video. And like I said, comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.